five, four, three, two, eight, six, nine, nice. Sam, the Windows clock is broken again. Useless pile of junk can't set my clock. Three, two, one. I can't believe it's 2024. That's great. It's a new year, and this year I'm going to make this my year. Watch out 2024. The goddamn Microsoft Sam's going to kick ass. Uh. Oh, that hit the spot. Sam, you lazy good for nothing beer chugging layabout. Get off your fat ass and do something useful. Give me a break, woman. We've barely started 2024. Plenty of time to do all those stupid New Year's resolutions. Sam, March is next week. What the fuck? How have the months of 2024 gone by so damn quickly? Where is the year going? Slow the fuck down, you Thank you for subscribing to Microsoft 366. Terms and conditions. You will only use this software in leap years. You will only be allowed to install software on February 29. You will leap around and endlessly praise Microsoft. You will agree to pay $150 per leap year for using 366 and $150,000 per non-leap year. You will let your computer leap out the window when it gets tired of the user. Why the fuck can I not decline? These terms are fucking stupid. Oh, this is what it's come to. Reusing error reactions Microsoft might made a long time ago. Bo oh 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 Shut up, who the hell remembers what Mike said 16 years ago? Blah blah blah, you're as exciting as a PowerPoint presentation. Oh no take a leap, Mr. Fancy Schmancy Computer. You, take a leap. No you. Yes me. Oh! Welcome back to Funny Windows Errors, Sam. Unfortunately, due to the fact that the Atom Smasher servers died so hard that they died to death, Windows has had to perform some favors it has made your regrets about to get the series back. Would you be mad if we told you we had to spend your entire credit card on the contents in Pandora's box, aka his prom server to get this computer back? I mean, even if you are, it's done now, so raging will only serve as comedic relief so shut up. It's fine. I'm fine. Fine fine fine. All is fine. Just fine. Hey looky here, it's that Microsoft Sam Muppet head. Hi, he's the Muppet who talks like a lady, in it. Oh, you're not a god fucking sons of bitchin' ass crap or damn it, don't you Scottish Lakers compare the goddamn Microsoft Sam to Mr. Talks like a lady fucking fuck shit ass canonistic fucking bitch ass or crap fuck 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 keyboard not responding. Use any and paper to continue. <laughs> I have handwriting that makes the doctors look like the Michelangelo masterpiece. Shut up. Windows has detected that you have screamed too many profanities while parental controls were enabled. You will not be obliterated, as per the rules set in place by Microsoft. Sorry about that. Mark my words, I'll have my revenge on you damn kids and your stupid parental controls. No. Serves you right for using such foul language in the presence of children. My children should never hear such language. Isn't that right, Microsoft Samuel? Goddamn it, son of a piece of shit, no fucking asshole, fuck, fuck, fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Windows found some very exciting scissors. Just say the word. The word. No, 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 you're supposed to say the right word for the comedy. Who cares? Please. No. Please. Shut up. Please. Cut it out. Thank you. Internet Glitcher has returned from its vacation. And it is more glitchier than ever. Get ready to glitch like never before. Your explosion has stopped working. Tech support can't figure out how to fix it. Have you tried imploding it and exploding it again? Yeah, we're in trouble. If a good old implode and explode doesn't work. Apple has launched the Vision Pro to everyone. 
Please take a closer look at this revolutionary device. Duh. Wow, this mixed reality stuff is actually cool. Who knows, maybe this is the technological breakthrough we've been waiting for. What the hell? Why is reality crashing? Reality is running windows. No! Whoops, this Vision Pro is running Vision OS instead of Vision OS. Sorry. Your computer is full of bugs. System performance is suffering greatly. Franklin the Frog has been dispatched to neutralize the bugs. Ha ha ha, comedy. Franklin the Frog reporting for duty. Here to heal your annoying computer bugs. You frog, get it out those bugs, guarantee. Ha to it, then. Let's open up that computer and see what we've got. We have noticed that you chose three different countries for your upcoming flight. Unfortunately, only one country will be selected to save your budget. Now, please choose one of the countries and a ticket will be delivered to you afterwards. Damn it. Well, I've been wanting to check out Norway for a while. Sailing through the fjords, skiing down mountains, watching the Aurora Borealis, while enjoying a good steam dam, all that good Arctic tourism. Let's go to Norway. Brazil it is. What the fuck? I know I can't pronounce some words, but I'm pretty fucking sure Norway and Brazil are not the same word. You're going to Brazil. The operation cannot be completed, because the disk is full. Current free space on disk, to terabytes. Please free disk space and try again. Yes, to terabytes is famously equal to zero. Seriously, what the fuck is this no free space bullshit? There's two fucking terabytes right there, you dumbass computer. These are premium terabytes. Puny end users do not deserve my premium terabytes. Get your own damn terabytes. Take your stupid terabytes and shove them up your terabyte. Are you tired of those horrible, plain ass tacos? Do you wish you could eat your tacos without your taco shells getting all soggy? Introducing Burrito Gong, your one-stop shop for all your burrito cravings. Any flavor, any topping, any tortilla, we can make it for you. Whether it's an highway cookie burrito, a highway cookie burrito, or a goddamn bacon burrito, we can make anything you so desire, even if it's the most vomit-inducing thing on the planet. And it's all for the low, low price of free. What are you waiting for? Head over to Burrito Gong today. User must forfeit all taco stashes to the Windows overlords to continue. I hate burritos. <laughs> no errors today, dude. Give Windows a fist bump. Fuck him, no errors. Let's fucking- <laughs> God fucking damn it. We've added a new feature to Windows, but it's not available in your country, unfortunately. You must live here in order to access it, Japan. Is it a feature to stop Windows update? Tell me it's a feature to stop Windows update. Shut up and take my money and send me to Japan now 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 now. No, it's a new feature for Office. Clippy has returned, but now Clippy is a radioactive atomic breathing monster who destroys Tokyo every Tuesday and enjoys long walks on Mount Fuji. Nami, you are attempting to access inappropriate material. Windows government demands you prove who you really are. Please upload your ID to our highly secure, privacy guaranteed server to continue. Mm, government. Highly secure. Privacy guaranteed. Bull. Fucking. Shit. At last, we have total control of the internet. No one shall escape the watchful eye of the National Security Agency. No one will watch any inappropriate content without giving us their most sensitive identification. You want the action, then you better pay the toll. Our system is completely bulletproof. You puny hackers can run all the scripts you want, nobody will defeat the great NSA firewall. Sir, the identification server has been compromised. Of course I spoke too fucking soon. Who is it? Elite state-backed hackers. Money-hungry ransomware makers. My psycho bitch of an ex-wife. Two children from Washington State, sir. Oh fuck off, script kiddies. That's it. Backtrace these little shits. Firewire the gigabits into the floppy drive, spam up their connection with the zip-linked SQL injection. Enhance. 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 Got them. Backdooring into their computer now, putting their webcam feed on screen. Wow, look, it's the NSA agent's browsing history. Oh god. Watch this video he's watched 2,000 times in the last year. Oh god, no. Don't know what it's about, but it's called Two Girls One Cup. 
Windows has detected that you've been fed up with both Microsoft Mike, Microsoft Mary, and Ray Elmer Sears copy making fun of your tiny floppy for the past 16 years. As a result, we have given you three options that will allow you to decide how they should suffer. The decision is yours, Sam. Do your worst, bitch. I'm not sure too stupid to even make a choice. There are amoeba on Jupiter's moons with floppies bigger than yours, Sam. Good thing the amoeba aren't smart enough to fix the office microwave, but the goddamn Microsoft Sam is. Anyway, who's up for some microwave browser streaming? This air appears to be a bit far away. Would you like to join in? Give me a close up capture. A close Just what we all wanted to see. Microsoft Sam stares at hideous modern art. For not reading your latest article about etiquette, especially around the internet, your right to talk down upon the editors of it has been muted. The punishment will last until you actually read and subject yourself to various pages of the article. Happy reading, Sam. But that means I have to read each with my hand and scroll down the pages. It's too much work. Quit your belly aching and start reading. I'm no reading only the headline. You have to read the entire article. But everyone only reads the headline. That's how news on the internet works, right? It's February 24. Ten months until Christmas Eve. Ten. Months. Until. Christmas. Eve. Just cool it Sam, we've still got an entire year to get through, not to mention multiple seasons. Let's get through spring, summer, and fall and all the usual holidays, before we get to Christmas, okay? Okay. Nope I can't wait everyone start your Christmas shopping right this very instant yo Hey, there aren't any birds or thunder on this channel, just some old guy complaining about his computer and stupid, weird signs. Old guy. You damn kids calling me an old guy. You whippersnappers and your big mouths had it too easy. Back in my day we had to use dial-up modems and walk through 20 miles of snow to get to school. We didn't have all these fancy schmancy iPhone touches or tic tics or any junk like that. No, Windows 95 was all we needed. Windows XP, no, Windows XP was like my kind of woman, fat but sexy. But don't get me started on Windows Vista. All you youngins will never understand the horrors our computers went through just to run that bloated pile of computational excrement. Oh, and don't remind me of all those damn pop-ups of Windows needing my permission to continue. You damn kids have no idea how good you have it now. No, you stupid youngsters have your heads glued to your smarty pants phones and can't even read a stupid and weird sign. No, you see a sign explaining the rules for the toilet. And you go do a mama.